All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Last episode, I kind of bit off more than I could chew by making this week's uh, or this episode's theme um, for advice. I, I don't really know what I was thinking there. So like the answers I'm going to give for the few questions I got are probably going to be kind of bad. Uh, just a fair warning. But Anyways, I need your guys' help. Um, if you wouldn't mind commenting down below what you think episode 30 and, and beyond's theme should be, just let me know if you have an idea. Like, I don't know, you know, just something like, you should do blah, 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 or you could do blah, blah, blah for episode 30 and then beyond. So just let me know if you have any ideas. That would be much appreciated. And of course, as always, make sure you also comment down below a question or two so that way i can answer it in the next episode but anyways let's get into today's questions because there's a good bit of them and yeah so let's get started right off the bat with java he says what lego minecraft dungeons set would you actually i read that wrong uh he says what minecraft dungeons lego sets would you like and what do you think we will see in the next year um okay so Assuming they make more dungeon sets, um, I think we could get some more kind of just like arena-ish theme sets. I say more. We haven't gotten any yet. Um, I don't know if they're going to stick to just making like the bosses like they did with the redstone monstrosity. But maybe we could get the like jungle monstrosity or whatever he's called from the new DLC that just came out a while back. Or maybe the... Um, I don't want to spoil it because it's kind of like an end game Easter egg, but there's another monstrosity in the game that you had to get after you beat the game. Um, like the main story, then you had to go back and find all the secret rooms and then you get to go to that level and then beat him. So if you know, you know what I'm talking about. That would be a really cool set. Uh, I don't know if they would do that though, because it kind of spoils the, the game, but I just think stuff like that, maybe like the Arch Illager's throne room could be quite fun, like as a big, like maybe $100 or $80 set. I don't know if Lego would want to do that, but just, you know, more stuff is cool to me. So um, I hope we get more Minecraft dungeon sets because the one that we got this year was really cool. So yeah. Um, but to answer your question, I don't really know. Like, I just think pretty much anything as long as it's cool or good looking, I'll get it. But if it's, like, garbage, then probably not. And um, those are some of my suggestions, though. The, just some of the monsters and stuff. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, right? Our next question comes from Lego Darth Vader Studios. And he says, What other hobbies thou you possess other than Lego? That's a funny way to word it. Um, of course, outside of Lego Star Wars, I still love Star Wars. Um... But I also really do enjoy music, of course. I listen to music pretty much all day long. And I also really like animation, believe it or not. I don't know if any of you knew that. but um, So those are pretty much my other two hobbies. And then Star Wars is kind of more just like a lifestyle for me. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it kind of sounds like an idol, huh? Um, but it's just, you know, I, I love Star Wars. So I, I don't even consider Star Wars like a hobby. I consider it more just like a thing I love. So I guess that's a hobby. So yeah, Star Wars, animation, and music are my hobbies outside of Lego. Of course, I love Lego, though. Um, and I think, honestly, dare I say, Lego Star Wars is probably one of the reasons why I love Star Wars so much. Just saying. If you know what I'm talking about, then you would you would probably agree with that. So our next question comes from EK Extras, and he says, Have you seen The Simpsons? If so, what was your favorite Bart prank call scene? Honestly, I love them all. Like, I, I have seen The Simpsons. I haven't seen the whole show yet. I've kind of here and there been watching it on Disney Plus um, for, like, the first time ever, believe it or not. And it's a good show. I like it. Um, and I don't really see the huge hype with it. Like, it's just meh to me. But I do like it. I catch myself wanting to watch it, like, maybe once or twice a week. Um, and so... To answer your question, though, I just like them all. I think they're always, like, really funny, you know. It's 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 like, dude, you don't get it. Just, anyways, um, I, if you know what I'm talking about, then great, you know. So, anyways, the next question comes from The Burner, and he says, What is your favorite Clone Wars season? Also, favorite LEGO Star Wars set. Um, favorite season of the Clone Wars is 
probably five. I'm going to just say I love Star Wars Clone Wars like all seasons, like uh, up until after season three, of course, the other two seasons are just OK to me. But I think season five is my favorite just for some reason. Um, I remember having the most fond memories of season five, like I, I remember when I started, like, rewatching the show a while back. Like, I say a while back. It was a couple years now. Um, but when I rewatched the show, I remember watching season five in, like, three days. Are you kidding me? That is insultingly low? The whole season. Because I just was in love with it so much. So, I think season five is my favorite. And to answer your second question, I don't really have a favorite like a Star Wars set because I just love them all. Like... That's too much of a tough question for me to answer, you know. That's like asking a, a parent, who's your favorite kid? Um, of course, really, they have one. We all know it, but they're not going to say which one, right? So, anyways, our next question comes from Doc Jedi Films. And he says, and this is kind of going on the advice theme that this episode was supposed to be about. Um, that was kind of a dumb idea of me. Um, he says, how do you get subs fast personally i'm getting fast recently but any tips help okay so for many of the research i've ever done like just making good content obviously is step one making content that you enjoy it's like step two like just make sure you're having fun if you're not having fun no one's gonna care um interacting with your people people like your comments make sure you answer comments give them hearts you know just show back the appreciation make sure your fans know you're appreciated i appreciate you guys you're all very 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 amazing um and just keep making videos like honestly yeah that's pretty much all the stuff i know to do uh lately my channel's been kind of at a standstill i got to 230 and it's kind of just been like quiet so um but you know just that's pretty much all i can recommend is just keep doing what you're doing and yeah, it seems to be working better for you, so keep keep at it, man. Uh, you know, you've almost caught up to me, so keep going. Uh, and, of course, if you're not subscribed to Dark, Dark Jedi Films, I'm going to give him a shout-out here. Uh, make sure you do so, because he's pretty cool. Like, really cool, actually. I shouldn't say pretty. He is very cool, so go check him out if you have not already. Anyways, our next question comes from TGB. I think that's how you say your name. If that's not, then I don't know. Um... Do you think Lego will make a duel on Mandalore set with Ahsoka and Marv minifigs? Boy, I hope so. If that's the next, like, duel set that we get next year, I would definitely be buying it. I mean, I'll pretty much buy anything. So, yeah, but I hope that's the thing. If that is, then you can bet it, I will get it. So, yeah. Please, Lego, if you're watching, which I know you're not, do it. Anyways, our next question comes from Whoa My. I'm just going to call you that if you don't mind. Whoa well, My from now on. Um, he says, number one. So, like, he's just, like, right away staying. What's my favorite? So, number one, favorite old trilogy character. I'm going to go with Luke. No, I'm going to go with Palpatine. <laughs> yeah, Palpatine. Uh, number two. Do you think that the Clone War the wait, uh, let me start over. Do you think the new clone faces will be used for stormtroopers or just clones? In my opinion, it wait. In my opinion, is think is think. I think probably uh, they will. So thanks to M and R Productions, we now know that the. Stormtroopers, at least in the AT-AT, have different faces. So I think LEGO is finally doing away with the angry clone face, which is kind of surprising to me, but it's like, at the end of the day, does it really matter? I don't think so. Like, I'm not going to display my minifigures with their helmets off like the Stormtroopers. If I'm going to make, like, a mock or, like, a display or something, I'm going to have them with their helmets on because that's just cool, right? So... That makes sense to me. Personally, I don't really think that, um... I don't really think that it matters, you know, so if you care, then yeah, great, but like, I'm like, I don't really care either way, like, if they have a face or not, like, they could just have a black head for all I care, because once you put the helmet on, that's all I see, so, um, but yeah, it is cool, I guess, that the clones now have new faces, and the stormtroopers are going to start getting unique face prints, it would be nice to see, not that it really matters, but I think it would be nice to see some, like, female face prints on some stormtroopers if that's going to be the case of just randomly throwing heads in there um 
just for fun. I'm like, it wouldn't really matter, but it would be kind of fun to have some like female stormtroopers, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm weird because um, there were female stormtroopers. And so I'm like, you know, it would be kind of fun to see that, right? I don't know if you agree with that or not. But anyways, the next question comes from E.K. Stallard. And he says, what is your thoughts on the new Star Wars The Bad Bat Show coming in 2021? Um, honestly, I don't really have any thoughts on it because I haven't really seen anything other than, like, the poster, um, if that's what you even want to call it, like, this image right here, um, but I do definitely think that it's going to be very cool and fun. It's nice to know that we're getting another animated Star Wars show that's going to be, like, look like the Clone Wars, and it's cool, because the Bad Batch was really cool, don't get me wrong, so, um, I'll definitely be watching it, I doubt it's gonna be bad, like, some things, but, um, I don't really have any thoughts on it right now, because this is all we've seen, so, um, yeah, I think you can understand that. Anyways, our next question comes from the Brickman, and this is the other advice question, uh, he says, what advice do you have about university slash college and careers? So this is why I shouldn't have uh, asked for you guys to ask me for advice because I have no <laughs> advice on university, college, and careers, okay? Because I want my career to be YouTube, truth be told, um, which we'll see how that goes. Um, and I've never been to college or a university um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry I asked you to ask me for advice because now I look like a dummy, so you're welcome, I guess, because I embarrass myself for your entertainment, so, yeah. The next question comes from Esme King, and he says, if you could own any set that came out before 2010, what would it be? Great video as well. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm assuming you're talking about this one, too, because, yeah, that's confusing, huh? Um, anyways, to answer your question, the Venator, I don't know if that's considered a UCS set, um, but that would be a fun set to have. I used to have that one, believe it or not. Um, and the ATOT, this set is just absolutely gorgeous, and according to the LEGO Star Wars community now, if a set has more than three of the identical character, it's considered a battle pack. So this is a battle pack now, right? So I want this battle pack. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So please remember to comment your questions down below. Leave a like on the video and have a fan dozy day. Okay, bye.